I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ranch, the raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ranch, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys. What is up, everybody? This is Geek of First, let me start off by saying happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching. I hope you guys eat all the chicken, all the, wait, 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 wait. I know my black guy did not just say chicken. Hope y'all eat the good turkey and, and mashed potatoes, corn, and stuffing, get fat and all that, bruh. Now, today's video is gonna be my top 10 favorite releases from this year. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna try to make it short and try not to talk about each shoe too much so let's get it started at number 10 we have the metallic navy ones now when this shoe was gonna release i it started to grow on me but it wasn't gonna cough them but after seeing a couple on feats and all that just seeing how it looks especially for how much they were going for like on ebay they're going for less than retail and for the quality that it had for that price around a little under retail around 150 one 40, 130, even less than that, I think is a dope release. I also did a review on the shoe, so if you don't mind, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Coming in at number nine, we have the Cement 4s. Now, this colorway and this shoe is really classic, came out in 89. The leather on the shoe was really dope quality. When they came out, a lot of people thought they were gonna sell out. They eventually sold out, but it didn't sell out the same day. There is pairs in different stores like Foot Action, Foot, o Foot, ah, Foot Locker, Finish Line, and Champs and other stores. And they were actually sitting in, in certain stores in certain areas. And it didn't sell out for a while. But the shoe in general is number nine for me. Coming in at number eight are the Jordan 12 Flu Games. Even though it's a simple colorway with the black and red, you could wear it with almost everything. I could wear it with what I got on right now and a whole bunch of different stuff. That's one reason I chose it at number eight. Another reason is the quality. The quality on a joint, well, the quality of the leather to me was really, really nice. But on certain pairs I've seen had, you know, glue, glue stains and, and other certain flaws about it. But other than that, the only good quality on that shoe, I'd say, is the leather on it. At number seven, we have the French Blue 12s. Now, the French Blue 12s had the same leather as the Flu Games that came out. I think, I don't know, I don't remember which one came first, the Flu Games or the French Blues, but both of those shoes have the same leather, but the white leather on the French blues really, 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 really popped to me. I already have the French blue sevens and I didn't want another uh, colorway or I didn't want the same colorway of a different shoe, at least not right now at this moment, but it is something that I do want in the future. Coming in at number six are the bread ones. What can I say about the bread ones, man? It's a really, really, really nice colorway, classic shoe. You guys already know the story behind it. Um, the leather on the toe and on the back of it, how it was like kind of like tumbled leather, that I really liked, but on the medial side or like the black part of the shoe, that leather didn't really seem to pop to me or it didn't really like look too good to me. But other than that, the colorway is amazing. And like the flu games, you could also wear it with anything. Well, almost anything because you're not gonna be it's not like for example you're not gonna show up in a, in a green ass shirt with black pants and some bread ones at number five top five top five top five we have the ovo 12s now everything about this shoe i just friggin love the white and the gold with like the stingray on the shoe or whatever it is and the packaging it comes in like everything about it i just love but unfortunately it goes for about what like eight hundred nine hundred a thousand dollars resale so i obviously cannot afford those but that shoe for me is really dope quality 
and a really dope colorway nonetheless number four are the jordan championship eights and i'm talking about the white pair the white and gold pair those those really reminded me of the gmp sixes to me the white with the gold the little gold accents on the shoe on the the tongue with the jump man and on the little whatchamacallit on the strap that little that little piece that you put through and all y'all know what i'm talking about i hope and the packaging like the white and black packaging like it was a like it's a trophy being handed to you in the box the whole packaging the whole setup with the cork inside everything about it is just amazing to me and the shoe itself is amazing quality and i was originally gonna pick these up but i, I had to think to myself like do i really want to spend 250 on these and at that moment i didn't want to spend 250 neither do i want to right now but other than that that shoe for me is amazing we're finally at the top three number three is the jordan one reverse shattered backboards now you already know with the original shattereds and now the reverse shattereds both of those shoes have really dope quality you already know the shattered backboard ones are probably one of if not the best quality one that's on on the market right now the colorway is what really got me now i like the original shattereds better but still the quality on the reverse like that to me was dope i originally tried to get these at open foot locker champs and in all these other sites to try to get me a pair but unfortunately i took an l on all the sites but yeah number three jordan one reverse shattered backboards some of you might actually be surprised at my number two, but my number two is the Bape and Adidas NMD that are releasing this Saturday. Now, that colorway, look at the, I'm, and I'm talking about the camo, like the green camo pair, not the black, not the black one, but the green, again with this freaking phone! The green camo Bape NMD, that to me is, you don't friggin' understand. The the colorway on the green camo ones are just dope as hell, dog. <coughs> what the fuck? And I really, really, really want to cop those on Saturday, but unfortunately I'm not going to because of my number one that's on my list and what I'm copying for tomorrow. First, I want to give some honorable mentions to the Yeezy 350 V2s. I heard those were really comfortable and they were more comfortable than the version 1s, but to me, in my opinion, the version 1s are just a little bit better than version 2s. And I'm talking style-wise, not comfort-wise, because I haven't had either, but, um, comf but, but look-wise or style-wise, I think the version 1s are better. And another honorable mention I want to give to are the Space Jams. The Space Jams, when I originally saw them, I thought they were, I thought the colorway was, was nice, but the pat, the high patent leather, I just really, really, really did not like. But after seeing a couple pictures online of the shoe and of how the on feet looks like, it really 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 started to grow on me unfortunately it's not on my top 10 list but it is something that i do want to mention and briefly talk about now coming in at number one are the jordan three true blues now i know some of you might be thinking like why the jordan three true blues like why do you even like those to me the color the colorway is probably the best the best colorway of 2016 i'm saying in my opinion you might have other opinions but for me it's the best colorway of this year and i heard that the quality or more specifically the leather was kind of eh but the colorway just does it for me like a hundred percent already so i'm not even to be honest i'm not even like looking forward towards the quality i just want the colorway the colorway is just 
friggin' amazing. For everybody trying to cop tomorrow, I wish you guys good luck. Hopefully I could get them in stores or I could get them online. So there will be a video on Thursday along with the review coming up either on Friday or on Saturday. It's on one of those two days it might be up. So if I get them, be on the lookout for that. That is my top 10 list for all the Jordans and shoes that came out for this year or going to come out for some of them. Um, tell me what's your top 10 down in the comment section below. Um, tell me any opinions that you have. Also, I want to connect with you guys, so put some video suggestions below too. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you keep rocking with the boy, bruh. And again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. You can check out my other videos. You can click right here, or you can click right here. Um, check those out, man. It's been your boy, Harry, a.k.a. Geek of Sneakers. And I am, you already know, bruh. Watching on Broadway. I ain't get your call today, ain't get your call today They say I'm famous, it's hard to say Look at the carpet, it's bargain day That's why I hate when you talk to me Slurring my words, girl, it's burgundy I know that all of you